How's it going, hey, man? Good to see you. Meet you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Of course, man. I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm 53, married to almost 26 years, four children. Meet Glenn Clemente, AKA Trucker Glenn, 53 years old from Bristol, Tennessee. All around good dude, winner of my giveaway. Poker player on the other hand, let's just say we have our work cut out for us. Cash has hurt me. Um, not, I don't think it's because I play bad. I just yeah. think I've had some really bad runs. How many hours of cash do you think you've played this year? <sighs> 500. Okay, and up, up, down how much? Probably down 4,000. I'm almost never passive, uh, and probably sometimes too aggressive. Maybe, maybe too let loose is a better word. Donkey loose aggressive. As opposed to controlled, okay. Sp not saying that I'm smart, but but yeah. timing aggressive, aggressive. Yeah. Tell me about your orphanage work and how you even got into that. I just loved the idea of helping people. When I got married, in fear and trepidation, I asked Debbie, my wife. I said, "What do you think about going overseas and helping people?" She said, "I would love to," and I was like, "Wow, this is like the perfect wife." We worked in Lithuania for four years. We worked in the Ukraine for seven years, and then we ended up down in Haiti. That's really cool. I, I think that it's really great that, I, and I'm, I'm so big on this, where I feel like energy just kind of like tracks each other. Yeah. And like the whole thing about this competition is like, I wanted to help someone. And it's just so crazy to hear you talk about, you know, that that was like your background of just yeah. like wanting to help creating these orphanages. For this first session, we're going to focus on pre-flop raise sizing okay. and coming up, developing like a standard. In a standard one-two game here in Vegas, let's just say that our standard pre-flop raise size is five times the big blind. Okay. If you are in a particularly loose game, let's go with six times the big blind. Okay. And if you're in a wild game, What's let's seven? let's go with seven times the big blind. Sure. We are going to add one big blind per limper. That's if you're in position. That's if someone's limped in front of you. Right. Now, let's say you're in the small blind or you're in the big blind. You're out of position. You're out of position. Rather than going one big blind per limper, we're going to go with two big blinds per limper. Okay. There's no ambiguity with our raise sizing. What are you hearing me say for the first session? Well, raise sizing, note taking, hand selection. Beautiful. All right, good luck on your first day. Thank you. I'll be back in a few hours to pick you up. All right, see you soon. <laughs> we got this. We'll do this. <laughs> Good luck, man. Thanks. Just getting back to the West Gate right now. Glenn's been grinding all day. He played for three and a half hours or so. Yep. How'd you do? Pretty good. How's pretty good? I profited 977. $977 in a one-two game. Yep. That's crushing it. <laughs> you turned me into an animal, Johnny. <laughs> All right, so um, he documented every single hand that he played. Yep. So it's going on five o'clock now. We're back at the West Gate. We're gonna head up to Team Vibes headquarters, go over every single hand for a couple hours. Then we're gonna head down to the poker room at the West Gate and put in session number two of the day. Hand number one. <laughs> Hand number two, ace king under the gun. I bet ten dollars. Get four callers. Flop is ten five three rainbow. Okay. Lines check. I bet thirty five. Everyone pulls. Okay, I can 
I can get on board with a 10 rag rag C bet because there's a lot of turn cards that are going to come that will improve your hand or give you additional equity. So this is an important thing to remember. If you're thinking about bluffing with like over cards or a hand that you raise with preflop and you have the lead and you want to continue, think about are there a lot of turn cards that could come that would either give me bluff opportunities, give me the best hand, or give me an additional draw. Okay. And if you can answer yes to one or all three of those, it's a, it's a, you can bet. I should go a little bit bigger. Okay. Because we have aces, it's good to recognize board textures that are good to continue. Wrapping up the session. I lost a couple hundred dollars. I won about 427. Yeah, he won 427. Hey guys, thank you guys. Say hi. Thank you guys for coming out. We'll see you guys later. Bye, Joey. Are you playing tomorrow at the Rio? Uh, yeah. See you guys later. That was a good day. Uh, you won a lot of money today. <laughs> good job, dude. That's awesome. And 100% no, no. like, I would just stick to like closer to like two thirds. And then because this guy is so tight, yeah, we're, gonna we're gonna decide to fold some of these hands like do this because of this. But I think what is so valuable what we're just talking about is that, because we only have a couple days. Like, we can teach right. you all the mechanical things in the world. But really what's gonna be enduring is how you transform the top process. Thank you guys for joining me on the live stream. We have another guest. HQ. HQ. We have an HQ. I have my code 109. <laughs>